Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. On Tuesday evening, February 20th, Manhattan Concert Productions will present Broadway Classics in Concert. This star-studded event will feature songs from some of Broadway's most beloved, award-winning composers and writers who we caught up with here at Sardi's right before the legendary night. Parade came about uh, because Hal Prince and Alfred Urey had begun working on uh, the Leo Frank story. And originally, the person who was writing it with them was Stephen Sondheim. Uh, and Steve had just finished working on Passion. And I think ultimately the idea of doing another dark story after Passion was too much for him. And so he said, you know what, this isn't a project for me. And so Hal. I had known Hal through his daughter, Daisy, who had directed my first show. So Hal said, well, there's that kid that Daisy works with. Maybe he wants to write it with us, which seems absurd to me now as a story, but it is, in fact, what happened. So he called me into his office, and I met Alfred, and I got a whole bunch of research material on the show. And that was how I got involved in writing Parade in the first place. On Mary Fagan's tombstone, uh, there's a phrase about how she died sort of for the glory of the, the red uh, hills of Georgia. And that was a, 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 an easy starting point for me, just that phrase, the old red hills. Um, so when I started writing the old red hills of home, the idea was to encompass both this sense of pride that the people of Atlanta had, that the Southerners have, what is that? mean and feel like, but also this sense of having lost. There is, within all of the, the characters in the South, there is a, a keen sense of loss. Um, and understanding that loss, I think, is key to making sure that the show is not about some like bunch of cartoons who go after some nice guy and, and, you know, and terrible things happen. I think these are people who are searching for why they feel like they've lost something. Why do they feel like something got taken away from them? Who's responsible for this? And in searching for a scapegoat, in searching for, you know, who did this, uh, they, they land on Leo Frank unfairly, unjustly, cruelly, horribly. But that's, uh, the Old Red Hills of Home is what starts that journey off. There is this thing they have such pride in and such love for, these Old Red Hills, uh, and they are watching them be defiled. Leo, is looking for where he belongs. And that sense that you can be someplace and simply not belong there, I think that is a, a, a very, it feels like a very 20th century, 21st century kind of struggle to me. I think that sense that this country is so big and so wide and being an American, you'd like to think that you can go from you know here to Montana and you're still an American. But in fact, it, it, it's very hard to belong. It's hard to find your people and find your, your, your tribe. And I think that, that relevance of Leo's quest and the way he finds it in Lucille, the way he realizes that he's meant to be with her all along, that, that's very moving to me still and, and very uh, relevant to me still.